Alrighty, folks, let's say a very good morning now to Elizabeth Yaros Ash, nationally recognized and award-winning artist, teacher, and juror, has had her work shown in over 350 exhibitions and has received over 80 exhibition awards. Uh, her work has been reproduced in the Splash 1 and Splash 2, American Artist, Watercolor, Artists Magazine, Art Lights and Dialogue. And she has taught at Midwest, Midwestern State University in Wichita, Texas since 1981. In 1991, she was selected for the university's Distinguished Hardin Professor Award and has been a full-time professor since 1992. You'll find her work in over 90 corporate institution, corporate and institutional collections. She is joined by our own Oliver Benoit, who is a professor of sociology down at SGU. Let me start with you, Elizabeth. Good morning, and welcome to Grenada. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here one week. I'll be here another glorious week. <laughs> and uh, by the look on your face, I can tell... By the way, I love your glasses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> by the look on your face, I can tell that you're enjoying it. It's been wonderful. Everybody yeah. was, has been kind and gracious, and we've been doing some fabulous work in the workshops. Tell us a little bit about Elizabeth before we get to uh, Oliver. Well, I grew up in Pennsylvania in the Northeast Great. of the United States and uh, went to school. Uh, like Homing College in Williamsport, <laughs> Pennsylvania, where I grew up, and uh, went to graduate school at Ohio University School of Art. And uh, when I was done with my graduate degree, I was hired and moved to Texas, Wichita Falls, Texas, at Midwestern State University, and I've been there for 32 years. Mm -hmm. Now, you're here to do a series of workshops at Time CC, I understand? Yes. Yeah. And we're doing uh, printmaking and painting workshops. Last week were the painting, or excuse me, the printmaking workshops. And I traveled here with two students um, that go to Midwestern. One is from St. Kitts, uh, and one is from Antigua, Bernard Peters and Lizka uh, Bass. And. Uh, we brought a small press that I'm leaving here and a lot of uh, consumable supplies that I'm also leaving here. So part of it was to introduce the students to the printmaking process. And next week we'll do painting. And this is uh, geared towards using a minimal amount of supplies and uh, uh, teaching resourcefulness, so maximum amount of effect. I understand that you're, you're one of those people who believe that art's very important in, uh, in education. The skills that someone learns yeah. as an artist and how we teach people in the arts classroom, those are essential survival skills uh, for a lifestyle of any human being. People don't realize that the arts are not disposable. They are essential. They aren't superfluous and they aren't frivolous. So that's, that's part of the, that, that was the lecture I delivered the other night at SU. And so part of uh, my being on the media this week and next week is, is to get that message out. Now, when you when you talk about the arts and its importance, let's let's define the arts first for uh, for listeners. Uh, anything in the fine arts, dance, theater, music, uh, visual arts, and even journalism and mass communications uh, is a form of arts. It takes creativity uh, to encourage the attention of the public. Uh, so uh, any of those would be under the umbrella of the arts. Language skills, et cetera, literature and uh, uh, language skills uh, can also be under the umbrella of the arts. At what level would you like to see art introduced in the school system? From the very beginning. From the very beginning. For as soon as baby is able to recognize. So in the homes with the parents at yeah. the beginning, but definitely when the children go uh, from the home into an educational system, it's essential that they, they engage in this as part of child development. And uh, you're talking about child development now. What, what sort of outcome eventually? Let's say, 
let's say uh, a student or a child starts studying the arts from a very young age. Describe to me the type of child.